is it's fun looking and being able to realize that wait I'm seeing something that I didn't really notice during the time that I was looking at these rocks I thought they were just chipped or fractured and here it is that the people that made these rocks these prehistoric or possibly pre-Diluvian people they were opening up the rocks some of them adding different colors inside the rock and then closing it back up with maybe a resin based or something as again like I say similar to a a sculpting clay for some of these other figures that you really gotta look hard to see that they're not just figures see as I bring it closer or they're not it's not just dirt or something like that these are images that have been added to the rock Now sometimes dirt is just dirt and the coloring is from mineralization in the ground but these are purposeful images that were made right, by if you want to say early humans prehistoric humans or I just say beings to, co beings to cover everybody or everything rather. really looks just dirty. Let me bring it closer and see what starts to happen. See if you see anything for me. Like I do. see in this one and again is that dirt when again on the outside of these stones they're they're, they're beautiful crystals actually they t again they conduct like topaz into the into sapphire some of them and you might say that's dirt and cracks but just bring a little bit closer see if you see anything There's a need to do a lot of talking and kind of just letting the rocks speak for themselves and hopefully we're seeing some of what I know is there. It's not images that are randomly made by the cracks or in the rock or anything like that. These are purposefully made. Again, that's that resin type stuff I think they used on the top of the rock can always tell because I look a little bit rougher than the rest of the rock. And again, some of it is landscape. Sometimes there are images of people, portraits. And the whole thing could change by repositioning the stone. Or sometimes they change as you're watching it. these are as much as a surprise to me as they are you because basically every time I look at them and again 
There's nothing on the outside of the rock except that material that looks like maybe the the crystal has kind of got mushed up. But really, I think, again, it's whatever they were using to sculpt with. Because if you can illuminate those areas with the right amount of light. Sometimes I have to use one that's not as strong. Pull up the images. Let's see what's there. And they like look like dirt from afar. Or if you just pick it up. But it's not. Again, it's not just, they're not just on the surface of the stone or the rock, they're inside the rock. Hopefully some of you can see this. And it's not just a random aggregation of the materials. Here, that might look like smudge to you. Let's bring it a little closer. A lot of these, I'm just finding the angles myself to see what's inside. So I'm sure there are, there are angles that I'm not hitting that would have shown more. But even more than seeing what I'm showing you, I want you to try for yourselves or maybe some crystals or something that you have just kind of laying around or that they look fractured and beat up or something like that just to see what you see. something there to show you I just didn't find the angle and of course if you watched any of my stuff you know I like my image stones or my rocks as well that for me there's different types of things going on on the stone and it tends to change as you hold it And again, it's not something everybody sees, I realize now. But even if you don't see the change, hopefully you can see that there are images on these stones. Or rocks. I guess if they were bigger, it would be more appropriate for me to call them stones. Okay, that one's changing. I'll put that there. Okay, this rock, the outside was sculpted. And just looking at it, it doesn't show a lot. 
but now you put light to it. But they were, I'm gonna call them when it comes to this stuff, masters of light manipulation. See if I can show you what they wanted you to see. Okay. Hopefully that image is starting to come in for you. And again, there's nothing on the exterior of the rock. They use that, uh, what I believe to be resin-based material and some crystal and kind of blended it up together, I believe, and came up with this. Now, it could have been other types of materials too, but... This, this is when the rock was sculpted and these other things applied to it. Here, it'll give us the best image. Oh, speaking of those, what I do, I think these, these are really nice. I think they cleaved, they cleaved these open and inserted their colors as well as Excuse me, manipulating the surface. So I don't believe these are just broken off, broken off randomly at that depth. I think it was done purposefully. For me, this would look more like a landscape. Let's turn it upside down. Or right side up. Oh, I actually see more coming through from this direction. But all those little breaks and cracks, they mean something. They have a placement in the art. Now sometimes a stone is gonna be just a cracked stone, but in the case of these, they're not just chipped and cracked pieces. Oh, I have another. This one's pretty cool. Let me see if it's the one I'm thinking. stronger flashlight Sometimes it's a combination of places, uh, portraits, whatever you see. But they're not just randomly cracked and broken and forming some random picture. And again, I'm not holding them as long as I might to bring up different images. If 
Oh, so I already make long videos, so that would make it just too much longer. And I hope you guys are getting you know, something out of the ones that I'm showing you. You're seeing something maybe that you hadn't seen or just saying, hmm, that's interesting type of, type of thing. Let's see what's in this one. There's something there. I'm not finding it right now, though. Let me see if this is one of the... No. Uh, let me take one of these chips from up here. Okay, these are some chips. They're like limestone. No, not really limestone. More like an alabaster. And they're all white little powder substance on the outside no indication of anything being inside really if you're just looking at it it looks like a white chip but I have the light behind it and hopefully you can see that there are some not randomly made images in the chip Using, store, using stones to store image. That's great. It lasts longer than any basic storage stuff available to the average person. Maybe somewhere they have some stuff or something that will store an image longer than a rock. <laughs> and it's probably made out of rock substances. We usually re-engineer so that we can charge for it, but anyway, let's see. Yes. Let's see what happens with this one. I just picked it up. Bring it a little closer. Guess my whole thing basically comes down to don't take any of the stones for granted that you see just laying around. You know, give them a look. See, and try with the flashlight. Look at the rough areas of your crystals to see if it is an inlay of some type. Uh, again, it's another one of those alabaster pieces that are found on the ground. And if you see anything, it would be completely inside the stone. There's nothing on the outside surfaces. On these, there's not even any of the uh, resin that I was talking about possibly being there. These are all images that are from the inside. Try to hold it for a minute. I don't know if the heat from the light helps activate a little bit more. But the longer I were to hold it here, the more visible things would become to you. So I think I'll cut it off here for this one. Thank you for tuning in.